with Dr. Vanita Zahn. Welcome. When a child dies, parents struggle to make sense of and deal with that loss. And that's something that Kristen and Tom Polizzi know. They lost their son Charlie back in 2017 from congenital diaphragmatic hernia. From that loss, Charlie Polizzi's Warrior of the Angels was founded. And it has expanded its reach since then. And Kristen is my health beat guest. Good to see you again, Kristen. Nice to see you too. We've been catching up and this has been a crazy time, but it's I suspect it's giving you some more time to uh, plan in terms of helping others. And we should point out that, um, and I, I pulled it up so I can get it right, that um, CDH is a malformation of the diaphragm, so it allows the abdominal organs to push into the chest cavity and that affects the development of the lungs. Yes. And there were different types, some more serious than others, true? Mm-hmm. Yeah, typically if the liver is up, it's more severe because it's a denser organ. So it affects the lungs more and affects the development of the, the, the lungs and the heart more because it'll push over the heart more and affect the heart and the, the functionality of the heart as well. And why can't some children be saved? Because the lack of lung growth. If, it, if, um, if there's no lung, there's no way for a doctor to, to help them breathe. Um, there is certain th there are certain therapies such as ECMO that's basically life support um, that basically breathes for them and pumps their heart for them. But if if there's no lung to pump, then there's they they can't. Yeah. It doesn't work, and, and it's a surgery. So the the child has to survive that surgery in order to to make it through and survive. So it, there are therapies, but it, it, right now it, it it's it takes a lot to get through those therapies and and if if they're not strong enough or they don't have that lung capacity it, they, they don't survive and this has developed in utero so the lungs are not developing well as they are developing yes yeah, so first first trimester usually would develop yeah you're reaching out now to work with albany med in the nicu talk a little bit about that project Correct. So we're working with our Albany Med community partner. Um, we have started a program called Soothing Hearts, and we are going to be launching it later on this year. It supports parents of infant loss. Um, so what we're doing, it's going to be an application-based program where parents will provide us with applications and ways that they 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 feel better. So their self-care that they do um, or they have done in the past prior to losing their child. Um, so what we want to do is provide those self-care activities to them because I know, my husband knows, and a lot of people that I've spoken to know that after losing your child, you, you're you not really concerned about yourself so much. You're concerned about what you can do for your child even though they're not here. Um, so be saying that is it's really difficult for a parent to take care of their selves. Um, the reason why I wanted to do this program, um, a coworker of mine, and she's actually in the board now, she, she pulled me into this CrossFit class, this body blast class back in 2019 and said, oh, you should do it. You should do it. I'm like, I'm not in shape. I can't do CrossFit. Um, so it, it really helped me because I had a really hard time with my body. Um, after Charlie, I miscarried twins that year too. So I really was not happy with my body. Mm. So um, with that class, it really helped me feel a lot better. Um, I was even to the point where I didn't even want to touch my own stomach because I was just, I didn't, I didn't, it just was very uncomfortable for me. And now I'm much more comfortable and I, I've grown and I've had that strength and I have that ability to know what can help me. And I mean, I'm th over three years out, he, he was born on, on February 19th, 2018. And um, I, I know, I just know that parents need the help and that's why we started this program. And so let me ask before we have to let you go, cause I'm watching the clock. Christian, what kinds of things, if you will, so you would go online for something that you've created. So if, if I know somebody who perhaps just lost a child, I would say, you want to go to this website and what will they find there? They'll find a short application, just their information, a little bit about themselves. Um, 
how old their child was and where their child was born. And they they can be as descriptive as they want. Um, and then we'll we provide a space for them to give the information of what kind of self care they appreciate if it's a sporting event that hopefully we can go to sooner than later, or a concert or a dinner out or a gym class or however, whatever makes them feel better about themselves. So it's a very small, simplistic application, maybe two or three pages, mm -hmm. uh, very general information. Um, so we can get a little bit, know a little bit about them and and then provide them with the, the care that they need. So if somebody says that they like to um, run you would then what t work with them to find a running group to encourage them to get out and run all of the above yeah absolutely we will we've been working trying to find community partners that would be willing to help with us um we found a few and um some of the things that i found was also like the crafting classes um like where you make signs and and different things like that so um i definitely we we're definitely open because we're just starting it for them to have an open space of where they can tell us what they want. Um, because we want to give them what they need to make them feel better. Uh, not necessarily you have these five options. So we are open within that application of what they, they really truly need and want. So you're going to be a matchmaker. Yep. And then feed their soul. Yeah. Kristen Polizzi, thanks. Let me know when it's up and running. We'll make sure to get that info out. And uh, all the best to you. It sounds great. What a great project during this uh, crazy time, uh, bringing happiness to others. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. And you can get more info on Charlie's Warriors Angels. We've got a link on the WNYT website. We'll see you next time. Be well.